what's up guys Jason Mar the magician and welcome back to the channel today is day number 54 and in this video I have a lot that happens I did a lot but unfortunately I left my batteries at home my spare batteries I'm currently stood in a car park in the middle of Adelaide and that'll make sense if you watch the video but halfway through the day my cameras all died because I didn't have any spare batteries so I've since bought more batteries so the content can continue and I can continue doing the 365 challenge but today's video is you know a little jarring <laughs> at the very least anyway I hope you guys enjoy the video anyway um, this is like soul content for me you know it's a vlog so I hope you guys enjoy it <sighs> the socks you wear they define you I'm wearing Pikachu socks today baby It's like 6 a.m. right now. It's 6 a.m. I gotta take a flight to Adelaide shortly. I'm going down there for the uh, Fringe Festival. I'm gonna do some street shows. Pretty excited. Got my AA batteries for human to help get me through the morning. Cheers. Ah. Everybody's just waking up. Kaisei. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Uh, everyone stayed at our house because we're taking the same plane, so we figured why not. Mika! Oh, good morning. Are you excited? Um, yes. Taxi's been ordered for 7.30. Take us to the airport, and then to Adelaide. Iki. I hope so. <laughs> Are you ready? No, no. Are you excited for Adelaide? <laughs> Always in a hurry. <sighs> Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> I. I don't know how I'm supposed to vlog this. I have two big luggages and I, do, I can't hold the camera and move them at the same time. You know a race car, it's alright. That's a lot of luggage. Nikki, it's time for a trip montage to the airport. Yay! 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 That's unfortunate, the padlock on my luggage broke. I guess I'm flying without a padlock? I don't have any. Whatever, right? what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. My, my limit is actually 40 kilos, and I'm just, I'm like literally 10 grams under. Call me Bucky Noob, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no moguls, I'd be innocent. Uh, how about right, I finally got rid of the luggage, at least now I can actually vlog. <laughs> huh? I'm hungry, I need food. Leaving those suckers behind. <laughs> Time to kill before the flight. Today's carry, baby. That sucks. Well, off to the plane. Fine, I'm boarding a plane. Oh, I need help. In <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing with your face? Then an exit road today. Okay, so sitting in an exit road today. Are you fit and unable to assist? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Finally boarding the plane. Place your small personal belongings Finally in Radelaide. Yeet. It's hot. It's like 40 degrees today, so I gotta get my luggage. I'm still working on my straight jacket and whip cracking show. It's coming along nicely ever since New Zealand, but still needs some work, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping that this will be a good raw testing ground to get it perfected. <laughs> what are you doing, you cheeky monkey? Jumping. Yuki, don't steal my <laughs> luggage! <laughs> Oi, Mika! Could you describe my baggage? My emotional baggage. <laughs> okay. Bring in all the luggage. Alright, we're finally here 
in the accommodation. It's actually a lot smaller uh, than I initially thought. All the beds are in the same room. Um, and there are four of us just crammed in here. <laughs> so, yeah, this is our life for the next two and a half weeks. Yes, a toilet. I love a good toilet. All right, that's the workstation. I get exactly half the table because Mika had to set up his workstation. It's going to be a rough two weeks. If you don't know what a fringe festival is, it's basically a performing arts festival where all the buskers from around the world come together and they do their shows on the streets for the people. It's a beautiful thing. It only happens once a year here in Adelaide and Adelaide's a particularly quiet city as well. So it's not like you, you don't necessarily come here to get rich. You come here because you want to see other performers and you want to be inspired and also you just want to see your friends. So. <laughs> That's how Yuki tries to get attention, it's very cute. <laughs> Food was good, time to do a magic trick. Alright, here we are back in the car park. We've come full circle, baby, and today's trick uses a deck of the Fontaine playing cards. Oh yeah! This trick actually relies on card control, and let me show you what I mean. First we get a card selected at random, and in this case it's the Three of Hearts. And that old girl just gets left center of the pack like this, and all you have to do is look through the deck and see if you can spot the three before it manages to rise to the top of the deck. Now some people, they find it difficult to spot the three in that circumstance because it happens so bloody quick. So let me do it more fairly for you. You can even see the three sticking out of the center of the pack like this. I'll spread them all out and we'll push it flush. And tell me if you can see the moment that it rises to the top of the deck. Now at this point some people accuse me of cheating so perhaps I have to do it with the card face up and that way there's no room for error. The card goes directly in the center of the pack. You can see these are all different and yet somehow it still rises through to the top of the deck and that in itself is quite a trick. The last part is not the uh, not the easiest but I just uh, say stop wherever you want. In this case you'd say stop right there and we've got the three still there. It's face up in fact if you were here you could push it all the way in to the center of the spread and yet somehow that card still rises all the way to the top. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I still delivered on the 365 despite having run out of battery. And I hope this video wasn't the worst thing you've watched. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Call me Bucky Lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh.